All right, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to make the screen shake when you actually destroy a brick. And this is actually a lot easier than you might think. Um, so let's head all the way up to the top. And uh, we need to add a Boolean for screen shake active. Private Boolean screen shake active, we'll call it. And we need to initialize that value to false because at first it's not happening. So here's where initializing the booleans here. You can separate these things out to uh, give a little more clarity to your methods. Booleans, um, all this stuff should be separated out. Uh, I'm not totally sure I'm editing the right game panel. This one has sound associated with it. Just let me make sure I'm editing the right game panel. Um, yeah, okay. So apparently I added sound already to this one. Um, anyway, so let's head down to the bottom. Now we have this, or not all the way to the bottom, in the collisions. Now, we want to say any time a brick is actually destroyed, we want to... Oh, this one does have the explosions. Don't worry about that. I'll show you that in a later video. Um, uh, when, we, when the map array equals 1, that means the brick is weak. And we should do away with those numbers again for like the umpteenth, umpteenth time um, using uh, public final integers instead. But uh, we have it this far. It's okay right now. Um, so we want to switch to uh, screen shake active. We want that to be true. And now in update, we only want it to go for a little while, so we'll uh, check it in update. Uh, and we can. There are some very similar ones, so we'll just use this. Oh, we need uh, screen. Do we need a screen shake timer? Uh, yes, we need a screen shake timer also. So, um, we should go up and make that quickly. I forgot about that. So, booleans and timers. So, we'll have private long uh, screen shake timer. And we will set the screen shake timer just give it an initial value of um, whatever screen shake timer equals system. This is just a uh, dot nano time. This is just a, a placeholder. Um, good practice to initialize variables, even though you're not going to use them right away. Then anytime the ball hits, uh, uh, breaks a breaks a brick, it goes from value zero to value one. When it's a screen shake timer at that point we set it so we grab the system dot nano time and then down underneath uh, we're actually going to use the update method we're only going to have it go for like three uh, 300 milliseconds so um, we'll just copy this one because it's pretty close to what we need so if system dot current time minus screen shake timer screen shake timer uh, is greater than we'll say 300 and screen shake active we'll set screen shake active to false because we want to turn it off screen shake active equals false and that is it we don't need to do this HUD thing so then underneath the paint component method, we're going to edit that uh, because, um, so go down to paint component, and it's because we're, we're going to actually move the entire image around. We're not going to just move the, um, the bricks and stuff. We're just going to move the entire image around. So uh, before move image, we're going to set its location. So we're going to set up a couple of integers, int x equals 0, uh, int y equals 0. So their default values are in the normal top left corner. But if screen shake active equals true, if that if screen if the screen is shaking, x is going to equal something random. We're going to do math.random times and you can play with these values times 10 minus 5 
which means it might be a negative value, it might be a positive value, so it'll shake kind of back and forth. Um, and then I'm going to copy this for uh, y. y also is going to equal math.random, the exact same thing. And then we're going to just uh, draw the image at xy. And I think if I did this all correctly, it will actually work. So let's see. We'll pop up the game. Yep. And let's see if I break a brick, if it actually shakes the screen a little bit. Yeah. Does it just goes for way too long? Does it ever stop shaking? Did we not set it to false? Or our screen thing is okay. Something's messed up in the update. I think okay, because it just keeps going. So let's go check update. What did I forget in update? Maybe you know and you're better than me. Uh, so under update, do, 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 do. if oh current time in milliseconds. That's weird that I was using milliseconds up there. So this has to be system dot nano time, not milliseconds. Uh, And if we run it at this point, I think it should quit after 300 milliseconds. Now it doesn't even do it. Okay, hold on. So, screen shake timer, system.nano time, minus screen shake timer. Oh, this is 300 billionths of a second. Let's do divided by 1000. Or divided by. One million? Yeah, one million. To get milliseconds. Oh, come on now. Not good for a tutorial. Go break a brick. Break a brick. Perfect. And you can make it a belligerent screen shake if you want by adjusting the values in paint component. But that should do it. Okay, bye. Bye!